morning everybody and welcome to Vlogmas Day. Oh no, my phone's not showing me. 17. As you may have noticed, my voice is not sounding quite how it normally does. It's actually improved like a lot in the past hour. I went, first went on stage and I sounded very on Tinker Valley. Um, yeah, I'm not very well today. I think just not having a day off for like three weeks is starting to take its toll. Um, my voice is on the way out. I'm hoping that it's just because it's quite early. We've got an 11 a.m. show. Um, but it's, oh, it's just so fun doing the like early shows. I know it's early, but which isn't ideal, but I love the shows with all the kids. Like, I don't know if you can hear. But they just love it and I love looking out and seeing like all the schools out there and they're just so invested and they love like our storyline and they were always like screaming and I just I just love it um so yeah I love that side of it I'm not loving that I'm not I feel like I'm not like doing my very best just because I'm trying my voice just won't come out and it's so frustrating it's like those dreams you have you know where you're like shouting and you can't shout for someone or like you're like trying to scream and you can't like i feel like that like i went on stage and i was trying to say my lines and i literally couldn't get them out i was like trying so hard and it was so frustrating because i just felt like i just must have looked like rubbish um so i'm so sorry if you're watching the 11 a.m panto today and you're thinking i'm rubbish um i'm really trying <laughs> Um, I'm really hoping that I'm not coming across as badly as I feel I am. But yeah, so we have quite a big break in between and I'm gonna rest, rest, rest. I'm gonna try and make something really tasty to eat, um, have all the fruit. Um, I need to get Christmas shopping, but I just don't think today's the day for it. Um, I need to go, I'm gonna go to Boots first and get some medication, um, some bits and bobs. So I'm gonna do that first and then head straight home and either go to bed um, or if I can't sleep, I will watch His Dark Materials on the sofa with my blanket because I'm like three behind now and I was going to watch it on the train home last night but I just felt too ill to... Well, I don't know if you ever feel like that where like you feel so ill that you can't like concentrate on anything. I felt like that yesterday. Um, so yeah, I didn't watch it on the train even though I downloaded it but I'm going to watch it when I get home and eat some yummy food. But yeah, I hope you're all doing well. Um, let me know if you've got this dang cold that's been going around this December. Um, quite a few people have had it in the building. Um, but yeah, let me know if you're also sounding like someone very, very husky. <laughs> Please don't judge my hair. Oh my God. <laughs> I've just been asleep in case you can't tell. Um, I am feeling a little bit better now for having a sleep. Oh my god, my hair. I'm gonna have to sort that out for the show later. Just had a little sleep and now I um, am cooking. I thought I wanted to cook like a really nice, something like yummy to make me feel better, but also with like loads of veg in it. Um, I popped on when I went on Netflix because I wanted to watch um, After Christmas. Sorry, there's quite a lot of noise in here right now. Um, and they've taken After Christmas off Netflix. Netflix. Why? Why? There's now like no good Christmas films on Netflix, um, which I'm gutted about. There's also not that many good ones on Sky this year. I don't know what's going on. Um, so I've now got Nativity 2 on, Danger in the Manger, which was not my first choice. Not even my second, but it was all that was on Netflix that I hadn't already watched. Um, yeah, not a fan of Nativities 2 and 3. Me and my family went to watch uh, Nativity 3 in the cinema on Christmas Eve one year. It was, I mean, it was hilariously awful, it was so funny. Um, but yeah, I'm just cooking this now, I thought I'd show you. I'm like, oh, yeah. It's from my favorite cookbook, the Bosch cookbook, and it is um, creamy mac and greens. And it looks like this. It actually does look like that when I make it at home. It might not here because I haven't got all the utensils and I ran out of soy sauce. So the marinade's not quite as it should be, but I'm excited to make this because it's so yummy and it's actually really healthy um so yeah i'm gonna make that it's um plant-based this cookbook but it's got such yummy food in it it's such a good christmas present if you're buying for someone that is vegan or trying to eat more plant-based um yeah i really really love it all right better carry on cooking
sauce. Looking good, it's making like creamy. This is just flour, dairy free butter and plant based milk. And it's just making like, meant to look kind of like a custard by the end. Get in there. Now adding in the nutritional yeast, which makes it taste really cheesy. Nutritional yeast is a new discovery for me. I was really put off of it because I thought that it um, just looked like fish food, which it does, but it's really good for making things cheesy. Look at that, that looks like a proper cheese sauce. Woohoo! I realized I was gonna do a ta-da, and then I started spooning it onto my plate, but ta-da, here it is. Right. I'm gonna spoon this on now. Yay! With some ketchup because I'm five years old. <sighs> yes. Now I'm gonna watch Master Chef and eat my dinner. Woohoo! Hello. Back again at the theatre, sounding like Barry White. Actually, Ooh. got a coffee. Um, it's not in a Christmas cup. A bit sad about that. Um, and it is actually nearly seven o'clock, and I shouldn't really be having a coffee this late, but. <gasps> Not put my car. Oh no! That, was that close, is a guys. classic, classic performer error. You get all into your costume because basically we have to have these microphones like round our waist, and you get all into your costume, and then you realise that you haven't put your mic on. So you have to Start get again. all undressed again. Put your mic on. I'm going to show you how I put my mic on. So basically, this is the mic pack. Yeah. Don't know if it's focusing on it. Come on, dear. Focus. There we go. That's my mic pack. So it has tink on it, just so they know like which character has which microphone. Um, so this is my one. And basically this is the little pack and then it goes through on this wire to a headset. A headset? I think it's like, like a side of headset thing. Um, and so yeah, there's loads of different types of mics. Um, if any of you watch my Oklahoma vlogs, I had a slightly different microphone on that. Yeah, so that one went like down through my wig, but this one is like a side microphone. It's like a Britney mic. Um, so yeah, you can get all different types. Um, this is the one I used for my last panto as well. I mean, not this exact mic, but you know what I mean. Um, so then what we do is find our mic belt, which I appear to have lost. Found it. So this is mic belt, ping. This goes around your waist and your mic sits in this little pouch. So, so I get my microphone and pop it in the pouch, like a little kangaroo, like that. Then I pop this around my waist, round waist. Then the final step, pop this underneath my hair and tuck these little bits over my ears like this. There we go. And then we are done. So that was tucked over my ears. My microphone is here pointed towards my mouth and it will pick up my voice. I mean, hopefully it will pick up my voice today because I've kind of lost it a little bit. There you go. That's how this microphone works. And then I just put the rest of my costume on over the top. Ta-da. Guys, I am so behind with Christmas. I'm just sat here writing a list of everything I need to do. It's so long. Uh, my voice, I think, is getting better. Not really sure. But it feels a lot better than this morning, at least, so that's good. I still can't sing, though, which is problematic. <laughs> um, yeah, I've got so much to do for Christmas. I'm so unorganized. I've got a day off on Thursday. So um, I'm gonna try and get everything sorted. Thursday, I just need to like write a list to prepare. Um, oh, what was I gonna say? As well, I was gonna ask, I've asked on Instagram, um, if anyone has any good board game suggestions. Well, it doesn't have to be a board game, but like fun games to play at Christmas, um, like with your family, because we have a few board games, but we always play the same ones like every year, and they're really fun, don't get me wrong. But I'd like to maybe mix up a bit and get some um, new games. So if anyone has any suggestions, do let me know. Yeah, the ones we normally play are Articulate. Uh, we play Harry Potter, Cluedo, uh, Boulder Dash, which is like my favorite. My pet grandparents playing that is absolutely hilarious. 
else do we play? That's kind of it really. Oh no, the London board game. That's my absolute favourite as well. Love the London board game. Um, but yeah, love some new suggestions if anyone has any. Um, as well, I had a question that I really wanted to ask. I'm going to ask it on Instagram too. Um, but me and Christina were chatting about it the other day because I have met, I'm so sorry about the noise in the background, but I can't turn the tannoy down because I need to know when I have to go on stage. Maybe I'll turn it down a tiny bit. It's a bit loud. <laughs> sorry. Um, yeah, we were chatting the other day um, because I've been meeting so many of you guys at stage door and you're all so lovely, which is just so nice. Um, but yeah, I've been getting to meet you has just been like the best thing ever. But it really occurred to me like where, that meeting you guys was like, I wonder how they found my videos or like started watching my channel um, because I, I mean I still don't feel like anyone really watches but like seeing actual people at stage door like it, it's just so nice but it just I was like oh okay people actually do watch it but also just because I'm I don't know that's just me maybe being like why why did why would people want to watch me but like as, as well I just think it would be really interesting to know like how you guys, oh my god, sorry, my voice keeps cutting out. Um, how you guys found my channel and started watching my videos. I'd really love to know, I'd be so interested because I just, yeah, have no idea. Like, I just don't know. Um, so, yeah, just leave me a comment um, if you fancy and let me know how you found my channel, how you start watching my videos. Um, I'd just be so interested. I think it's such an interesting thing and something like we were chatting about, and I was like, I just. Yeah, I really wonder because I just don't know how anyone would get to watch them. I don't know. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, I'd love to know. But it has been so nice meeting so many of you. So thanks for being so lovely. Um, ooh, ting. Right, I'm gonna save my voice for the final bit of the show, and I will check back in with you in a bit. Home. Oh my goodness. Home. Lights on. Oh my gosh. We are home now after a very long day. Um, I am gonna rest my voice for the rest of the evening because my voice is on the way out. So hopefully it won't completely go. Um, yeah, we're gonna have some mac and cheese tonight because it's a mac and cheese kind of evening. Might watch a bit of telly, just have a little chill and drink lots of fluids for the old voce. Hey! Hey there. Um, so yeah, that's that's the plan. Also, I just wanted to give a shout out to the Juvenile Ensemble, the blue and green team. So hi guys, little shout out for you there. Um, thanks for being so amazing in the show. Right, I am gonna go to bed. No, I'm not, I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have a shower, then I'm gonna eat, and then I'm gonna go to bed. Um, hope you're all doing well, and I will see you again tomorrow. Good night. <laughs>